Morning everyone, welcome back to Explore Life. It's been a while since I've made a video, obviously with lockdown and things like that. But today, I've got a bit of a surprise for you. If all goes to plan, I'll possibly be buying something that allows me to work on a project whilst, um, whilst we're in lockdown and also which is to do with travel. Something that's very popular and I think you'll like. Um, it'll take a while to finish so I'll end up probably making it into a series but hopefully I can get this bought and, and show it to you. Right, so as you've seen, this is our second attempt now uh, at getting a van. The last one we've seen was, um, it's not big enough. So today we're headed to London. It's gonna be like four and a half hour drive and the weather is horrendous. It's lashing down. But, um, turn lights on. Hopefully, this is the van that we end up getting because it's a Mercedes Sprinter, the long wheelbase. So we're currently at a service station on our way back from London. So it took us about four and a half hours to get there and we got a bit lost when we got there. It took us a while to find the van, but we did finally find it. And here it is. It's a bluey gray sort of van. It's a Mercedes Sprinter long wheelbase. Um, I mean, it's not in perfect condition. Cause obviously we couldn't afford to buy a perfectly conditioned van but apparently the engine runs fine it did seem fine when we were testing it and it's got us 20 miles no problem so far the body's a bit beat up like there's rust in places but it's only surface rust so you know a bit of sandpaper or an electric sander and we should be able to to sort that out quite easily now the inside is locked anyway as I was saying, the any chance? So the inside doesn't look too bad. Like it's not the worst. This side, these two seats are really good. Because that side, it's got a rip on the far side. Um, but we'll probably be replacing these seats anyway. To be honest with you, um, purely because we need to replace the double seats. So we'll probably just replace them both. The inside of the van looks quite good as well. I'm not really going to get in because I don't have any light. Um, but, you know, the one downside is that the previous owner was a smoker. So it does smell of smoke in there. Obviously try and get that out. And then there's a few other things like bits of mirror missing. But apart from that, there's no dents or any major rust like no penetrative penetrative rust eating away at the metal so to be fair we paid 3700 for it and for that money up to i think we might have got a, a good deal
finally home after about 14 hours of like, driving and just being on the road and I've showed you a little bit of the van but not much and obviously I haven't shared any ideas with you except obviously it's quite obvious this is going to be a camper van but this is all I'm going to share with you right now and you'll find out more in future videos. I didn't really want to end the video with that clip because the quality weren't the best because there was not good lighting like I normally have when I'm videoing um, videos like this. So I thought I'd just sit down, it's been a few days, and just basically talk over the plan with the van. So like I've said, it's obviously a camper van. This is going to be a van build, which I am going to make a series out of. I'm not quite sure how long it's going to take, and I'm not sure how many episodes, but I am going to try and keep it short. I don't want too many videos, but I also don't want the videos to be too long. So I want to maybe aim for around 20 videos. Following on from the van build series, will be a van life series. Now this will be a two to four month travel vlog which will be in Europe and hopefully part of Asia. This will happen next year and the reason for that is because we're already going to America this year for five weeks. So that's going to be our big travel vlog this year and obviously we need to save up to go traveling next year so, so that won't happen this year plus we also have to build the van as well. Once it's complete I'll probably do a little video of testing it out I like the Lake District just staying in it like a night or two to give you an idea of what it's like to live in and how it works. So that's the end of today's video if you liked it then please hit the like button and tell me in the comments why you liked it and if you didn't like it then dislike it but at least tell me why in the comments you didn't. And if you're interested in this sort of stuff and want to follow along on the van build, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon so that you can follow along and not miss a video. If you want to see more of the van, uh, if you didn't see enough earlier on, then stick around as there'll be a showreel at the end of the video just showing you the inside and outside of the van. And remember, keep exploring.